Sniff your fun. Dude, this pu- this place is going crazy. G- we lost Garrison Keeler and Matt, Matt Lauer, Lauer today. Both of them went down. Brah! That's what they get. Crazy. <laughs> like I Garrison say, man. Keeler. Garrison Keeler. Garrison Keeler. Look, man, them low talking dudes. Those yeah. slow talking. Yeah, Welcome those to Lake yeah. Mobagon. He's the guys looking you sideways. Watch out for. Yeah, yeah, the whispery Here we are dudes. Live. <sighs> Public broadcast radio could use your donations. We love bringing you quality content, but it comes at a price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the first guy to go down was that John Gomeshi guy. Who was that? He Is was that the NBR president? Canada, oh. the CBC guy that was choking bitches. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Who was the macho? <laughs> <laughs> That's the dude. He That's was the like, Montreal yes. dude. He was like Mr. Calm and Quiet uh, and Progressive, and I'm a feminist. I don't I'm, trust it. I call myself a feminist. Ladies, you, you listen. You cannot trust. I'm not the best human being in the world, but I swear to God. What you see is what you get. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You got to be careful with these fucking male feminists. That is just, that is a sneaky ploy to get pussy. What was that one? Who was it? Was it uh, Eric Weinstein that was telling us about uh, a particular type of cuttlefish that pretends that? to be a female so oh. that he can get in close with the males? And then. Because the males don't recognize him as being a, fe- uh, a, a, a threat. What was it? Sneaker, like sneaker, sneaker, sneaker male, like a sneaker male. Hilarious. Yeah, and That's he the male can <laughs> operate like underneath the large cuttlefish, right? And with all the females, yeah. then he bangs them. He's on the sneak tip. That's the yeah. dude that's like, I understand you. Yeah, is that oh, it? Wow, that's yeah. dope. Yeah. Sneaker male cuttlefish of Thailand. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, so it literally is like a transgender cuttlefish. It <laughs> pretends to be a woman, <laughs> but really it's just trying to get some pussy. That's it. And it, it's its strategy is not to be the big. You know, uh, ever present dominant male, but wow. instead just slip around, just yeah. like the girls. That's like um, girls. that's like the one straight dude in a ballet joint. Yeah, and he's like the women complain to me mm-hmm. about all the other guys, and then I end up yeah. smashing them all. Yeah. Or like the one straight dude in a uh, in church choir. <laughs> yeah, you know when you see those guys who they really are. When one of the ballerina's boyfriends show up, and yeah. the straight dude's bitchy to him, yeah. like, oh, yeah. look yeah. at you. Trying to fuck my girl. <laughs> you, you, you've been trying, though. You've got this whole thing cultivated. You're watering it all and right, putting right. fertilizer. You're setting it all up. Got your moves. Yeah. Got your, little, your calendar. You got your fake books you pretend to read that you leave out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the shit that we do. All the shit that guys do. <laughs> Everybody has a move. Uh, <laughs> what was Garrison Keeler's? He was he was probably the you know just the intellect man. He was a professor. He was the, yeah. the professorial crush, right? Lake Bobagon. He created this whole world. Low yeah. talking dude made Low money in Minnesota. Dude. It was Prince and this dude and Garrison Keeler. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah. look at man, him. Look at that dude. That oh. dude was slinging dick. Ugh. Oh, Terrible. Garrison, Garrison Keeler. Keeler. I wonder yeah, what is the eyebrows. accusations. I don't know. I have Here's no idea. the thing, though, man. All a chick has to do is hate you. That's what's scary. Yeah, and That's then you're scary. guilty. Yeah, it's, it, the bucket is so wide. It's yeah. like it's the Weinstein of it all, and then it's, I don't know, you know yeah. Matt and, Lauer of it all. I don't know what Matt did. but Yeah, I don't know what he did either. Yeah. But then there's like the Louis C.K. angle where he doesn't even touch you. He just jerks off in front of you like, hmm. <sighs> What the fuck? <laughs> like my boy say though, he's like, you don't know what it's like to have a dick. <laughs> like, because you think about it, like who, like who would put everything in peril to just jerk off in front of somebody? Like you know, Man. this is gonna come back on you. Yes. So it oh, has imagine. to be something, something with your dick that makes you go, I have to do this. I think it's. I've been saying this for a while. I think it's one of the things that like makes people funny too is that ridiculous way of viewing the world. You're just chaotic, yeah, impulsive, and you yeah. do nutty shit. And the next thing you know, you're like, can I jerk off in front of you? And you're like, what? What? <laughs> you push the limits. <laughs> you stop pushing. Just, let me see how ridiculous <laughs> I can funny. be. Yeah, I you want to see what people's lines are. And it, it probably oh. worked. It might have worked for somebody. Yeah. Like, that whip it out. Like, the whipping your dick out thing. Like, I know dudes that, that was, people tried to get me to do that in college. They were like, yo, you should just pull your dick out. I'm like, that works? Yeah. And I was like, I never had the courage to just, just yeah. pull my dick out in front of a girl. But it I know cats that were doing it. all the time. <laughs> But when it does work, you're like, holy shit, I got to figure out what the rhythm is right, here. Right, right. What's the beats? 
What are the beats? Is it a movie like, first? Is it because a- <laughs> there's some times where it can work, and you're like, what? How does that? How's that possible? But then other times where you'd pull your dick out, and the girl would be like, what the fuck? Right. And you're like, I'm sorry, <laughs> Jesus, what did I do? You Jesus, can't, you can't bat baseball averages with your dick no. pull out game. Not only that, it's a low average. It's a low too. average. It's a low average. And those but if you get crazy come back. and hit that one out of a hundred. It was, it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it until the day, man. It, the all those 99 is, are coming out. Yes. And if you yeah. have like a, a freak girlfriend, yeah. like when you're in high school or something like that, yeah. and then just ruins your perception. Ruins you. you know what else fucks a lot of dudes up? The strip club. They yeah. hang out there, so they have this false reality of what, you know, oh, a, yeah. a woman is. So then when they go out and just try to talk to a regular woman, they're like, well, you got to get to know me first. They're like, fuck you, bitch. You know? yeah. <laughs> they don't even there's know There's a little bit to... of that, but there's yeah. also you just getting used to dealing with freaks. Yeah. You de- you're dealing with freaks all the time. They have a different different parameter. It's not like the lady in the office that handles accounting. You, know, yeah. you can't pull your dick out on her. No. <laughs> but that is nice when you meet a woman who has agency over her body and knows what she likes. That could fuck you up when you go and you're dating, dealing with somebody that's not that free. Yes, yeah. that could be a, that's a problem where yeah. where girls just they're not fr- freeze the right word right they're not yeah. just relaxed enough or comfortable enough in their own skin or yeah. kn- know what they like and just can tell you and you're like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and that's when you have to decide if yeah. you really like her because if you do like focus on her and and bring that out of her and mm-hmm. you don't like her it's gonna be hard to <laughs> you cut get off. out of that yeah yeah that's a problem yeah. yeah i dated a girl once a long time ago yeah. like way back in the day i was in my, my 20s and i loved having sex with her but i hated hanging out with her it's, uh, i know man it's that it's that she would how just, do you how'd you how'd you try to like um ghost her when you were she got mad at me <laughs> <laughs> that's what they always did they always wound up getting mad at me <laughs> They just get mad at you. Just yeah. you're not doing what they want you to Damn do. It, you're not marrying them. Yeah. You're not this. You're not that. 